If you do, you won't have any fur left in the morning. It's time for bed now, sweetie. But I'm not ready for bed without Fuzzy Llama. Your bed is all ready. All you need to do is get in it. It seems like someone doesn't want to go to bed. <laughs> of course, I do. I'm pooped after our fun day. I don't want to go to bed because I, I, I forgot to bring Fuzzy Llama and I always sleep with him and I never sleep alone and he doesn't either and he's going to be so lonely and uh, I need my Fuzzy Llama! Oh, we know, sweetie, we know. But you'll be okay here tonight. Hey, would a big llama squeezy help? Maybe. It didn't totally work. I still need Fuzzy. Oh, I'm sure there's something we can do to make you feel better. It's a nice sock, Grandpa, but it's still not Fuzzy Llama. I've got it. I know what to do. Oh, great idea. Hey, where'd Grandpa go? You'll have to wait to find out. And now, I would like to introduce the one, the only, the almost as fuzzy and uh, a lot more linty, Little Llama. It's nice to meet you, almost as fuzzy and a lot more linty little llama. He was my little llama when I was a boy, and he helped me sleep every night. Maybe he can help you, too. Little linty llama was really yours when you were little? Sure was. Thanks. Good, Good night. night. It's morning, it's morning, good, good, good morning to you. And little Linty Llama says hi. I'm happy my old friend made such a nice new friend. Hey, I bet Fuzzy Llama would like to meet him too. Oh boy, can almost as fuzzy little Linty Llama come for a sleepover? <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you, best grandma and grandpa ever. to be back here with you. Meet Little Linty Llama. How's Little Linty Llama doing? He's the best. I can't believe he was Grandpa's when he was a kid. And now Linty and your Fuzzy are friends. <laughs> Who would have thought? So my Little Llama, I'm proud you stayed the whole time at Grandma and Grandpa's. They had a great time with you. I had a great time too. I got to help steer the tractor and I made a new friend. You're not gonna get scared, are you? No, cause I'm right here. Huh. Huh. Today's the day, Fuzzy! The day of the school carnival! And it's a great thing that I don't have my... Uh, two cold anymore. I thought I heard a sneeze. Did I hear a sneeze? Just a little one. I think I'm all better now. Your forehead is still a little warm. You still have a fever. Hmm. <coughs> I think we need to give it one more day before you go back to school. Plus, we don't want any of your friends to catch the cold. One more day? Oh, but today's the carnival. I'm sorry, sweetie. I know you've been looking forward to it, but you're just not well enough yet. But I really feel better. Why don't you come to the kitchen? I'll do everything I can to make you feel better. Okay. Mwah. All right, Mama. 
so here we go. Mama Llama's patented family formula for getting over a cold. A nice warm bowl of noodle soup, a big glass of orange juice, and some slices of super juicy grapefruit. The best way to get over a cold is sleep, soup, and citrus. Sleep, soup, and citrus. Mmm, warm and tasty. Cold and sweet. <laughs> Sour and squirty. Hey, you're right, Mama. I feel better already. <coughs> I'll get it. Morning, Llama Llama. It's time for the carnival. I know. I can't wait to go. All right then, let's go. But Llama Llama, you're still wearing your pajamas. Are you wearing them to the carnival? Wait. Are we supposed to wear pajamas to the carnival? No, Luna. You see, I have my pajamas on because my mom thinks I'm still sick and I should stay home today. What? And miss the carnival? I don't want to miss it. I really want to go, and I'm really not sick. Then change and come with us. Especially if you're not really sick. <laughs> Why are you making those faces, Llama Llama? What faces? Anyway, maybe I'll just go tell Mama I'm going to the carnival since I'm not. Whoa! Whoa! I'm not sick <laughs> at all. <laughs> um, you kind of sound sick. Yeah, I guess I do have to rest one more day. Sorry, Llama Llama. We'll tell you all about the carnival later. Bye. Bye. Oh. Here are your clean clothes, sweetie. Now. Pick out what you want to wear on your sleepover at Grandma and Grandpa's house. I can't wait! Okay, Fuzzy, I'm going to bring my indoor pants and my outdoor pants, my favorite socks and the ones I don't like so much, hmm. and my eating shirt and my red pajamas. <laughs> Is that all? Then my big stomping boots. Anything else? You know what? Everything. <laughs> Remember, little llama. You're only going for one night, so you might not need quite that much. Hey, hey, yeah. You never know what I might need on a whole night away from home. Right, Fuzzy? I know it seems a little scary, but you've been to Grandma and Grandpa so many times. Lots and lots of times. This time, you'll just be there a little bit longer. You're right, Mama. I can't wait. Let's go to Grandma and Grandpa's. I don't think I've forgotten a single thing. I think you're right. You pack so much I can barely see you. <laughs> it looks like you're staying with us forever. Oh no, forever is too long. Mom would miss me too much. I just brought the stuff that I need for one night. <laughs> one night? Ha! Huh. Two or three is fine with us, kiddo. Then we better hurry up. You have a lot of clothes to wear today. You're so right. Let's go. I guess it's time to say goodbye. Big Llama Squeezy. Oh. <laughs> Bye, Mama. She's gone. But she'll be back tomorrow. And until then, we have many fun things to do. Vegetables to pick, woodshop projects, maybe even drive a tractor. But first, go up to your mama's old room and unpack your things so we can get started. <laughs> I'll be right back. 